Lay down, cat. Um, oh, yeah, today is uh, Saturday, blah, 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 June 11, 2016. Okay, um, sorry I didn't get to any videos, but I can whip up a quick five-minute one here. This is Commitment of Traders. Highlight this link. All right, this comes out uh, from the Canadians after about five o'clock. Thank you for staying late and putting this together, Canadians. All right, uh, what I like about Commitment to Traders is that it shows you the poker hands of the players. One of the few things that the government uh, is actually forthright in um, information that it gives you. Um, so, running through this real quick, what I'm looking for is when, okay, the trend is your friend, right? So if something's going up, you're going to be buying, right? That's how you make the money. You know, you let your winner, winners run, you go with the trend. Um, you know, if you're trying to pick a top or a bottom, uh, let's just say, let's see, uh, what's a good top or bottom? We'll say stocks. Okay, stocks have been going up for, equities have been going up for, 09, so it's a seven, eight years times 244 days. So we're talking like the odds are, you know, what, four, five, six thousand dollars, or thousand to one that you're actually going to pick the top or the bottom. So the deal is just to go with the bell curve. Okay, so here uh, you have your Canadian, right? So you have the great part is the net positions. Okay, this is short, prices are coming down. How obvious is that one? Uh, the gray goes up means that they're getting long price reverses and goes the same way okay so what I'm looking for here is where there's a discrepancy okay so then we go to two uh, we'll leave it at this I don't see anything just quite yet here alright so here's the euro okay uh, people get short that's the gray part the red line is the price there you have it it reverses goes the other way and then now all of a sudden here we have um, a position where uh, price is going up and then they're rolling over here okay and then right next to it here is, is the pound and here where you can see is I haven't looked at a second uh, site yet but what we have going on here is we have a whole bunch of short going on and I think this is going to be a record short or something down here but prices are up here so what you have is you have the market who shorted and they're not getting the desired results so right now we have people who are short the uh, pound are about to get bent something fierce and I'm sure there's probably some spreading going on here with the euro where it's we're gonna say that the euro is somewhat neutral you know plus or minus on here what do we have 112 to maybe 116 okay uh, Japanese yen same thing you have your net position you're just going up and then so does the red line and we have a little stall here we might have a reversal uh, that we put the um, uh, carry trade back on um, like I said uh, I, I looked at the downside if we take a pivot on uh, S&P's uh, you know a drop of anywhere from 15 to 25 percent which of course on the bigger end of things too you could have a grand super cycle on there too but I never talked about what would negate that so I'll try and keep that in the back of my cranium while I'm learning about myocardia whatever infarction no, that's something else whatever uh, over the weekend okay so here's the Swiss franc I assume uh, a lot of these brokers that I deal with are beginning to up margins so I'm gonna assume what we're gonna see is we'll probably see with uh, with what happened with I think it was August where China had to unload a bunch of currencies and we had uh, 900 pip move yes can't forget that one 900 pip move in about 20 minutes uh, what was that Euro New Zealand and it stuck there I was shocked short 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 okay so um, th any weakness on the or any strength on the Swiss franc buy into it the Swiss franc is some one way or another we're just gonna beat the, the the crap out of the Swiss franc either they do it to themselves or we'll we'll do it to them but uh, the Swiss franc is one of the few left besides the yen now they can beat on and then where am I at here Australian dollar is okay the New Zealand dollar you might want to bang on that with a ball peen hammer oil is getting a little lofty you have all these lungs in here but prices aren't going anywhere the Mexican that's okay and then down here is what I wanted to show natural gas you can see how they're trying to get long but prices are so things are gonna get a little violent we did have some violent last week uh, gold does look like it's probably doing its run and then uh, S&Ps look like they're sideways for now. And then uh, here's the other one is the 10-year. Uh, they're, they're going.